So the place we just went, I would say we found kind of like a little gold mine really. Um, it's a wholesale warehouse and they ship like Amazon products and different stuff like that, but they have a lot of stuff that we might need. So we got a card and they said they would ship it around, um, you know, wherever we needed them to ship it. So um, what was it? It's, yeah, it was like 20 bucks for this part, which is crazy. And I think it's called RV Wholesale Warehouse. We got their card. I'll, uh, I'll link it in the description so you guys can hit them up. But yeah, go give them some business. <laughs> that other store that might have been the same. That oh, they really? probably would have paid twice as much for probably. it. See, this is the other thing that I was hoping they would have, but uh, might not be bad. So. Definitely. That's the old one. It's twisted in there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's got like a spring in it. This place, but just like in general, RV stuff. <laughs> Tricky little boogers. Oh, that's cool. Let's right there. Pookie Pookie save the day once again. Now we can have hot showers. Hopefully. Thank you. We're gonna test it and find out before we leave. Okay, good Just idea. In case we need anything else. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> hot diggity dog. We got hot water. Yeah. Woo! Go baby. Go baby. Twenty dollar repair, but it took us two days to find it. <laughs> right. Yeah, works out good. So. Y'all might think this is silly, but being Oklahomans, it's kind of exciting when you see your first quick trip. We haven't seen one in over a year, and quick trip just kind of has everything, you know? They have gas, they have good food, they have taquitos, I don't know. I guess I'm a little bit stoked to see a quick trip, just to see something really familiar, you know? So if there's any books, I can take one and I can leave one. Let's see. Whoa. Somebody just yelled at me from a school bus. Hey, hey. I should yell back hi, but I was let's see. Inside the fish is hard. Liberate Americans in the liberation of Nazi concentration camps. First guide to brief therapy. 
child called it. What's that? I just always have to look through these and see what they have. Pro Bean. What's that? Is that by Aliens? Let me see. As evil lurks around every corner, the misfit team must work together to bring us to get alive. Profit novel. A dystopian thing right here because if so you know the truth and the truth will set you free. Beach music, where'd you go? Blood dream. Okay, probably nothing in there. I'm gonna take this time, but I had to look, right? And it's getting noticeably colder out here. I probably need to put on a second layer. <laughs> Hey, chilly out there. <laughs> we had breakfast pretty late today, so we're just going with some pizza rolls for lunch. So I guess we just made it to Tennessee. I totally missed it. Uh, this trip has been awesome because I'm reading a book I've wanted to read for a very long time, George Orwell, 1984. I missed the state line though, that's kind of sad. But we're in Tennessee now, yay, it's so exciting. It looks like we only have about an hour and a half left on our trip. We'll be at our last boondocking stay. It's like really fancy. It's got awesome gargoyles hanging up here. The gate code. Wow. I'm impressed. And I see horsies. All right, we got some permission to record around here. So I just want to show y'all where we're staying tonight. It's so rad. So we are actually staying inside a giant barn. So see? And our RV is in the middle of it. How cool is this? So yeah, it's just this giant barn that we pulled into. And then they have a bathroom over here. They have hookups for us over here if we need it. And some water if we need it. Um, there's a dump out there. They have horses. I mean, this place is just gorgeous. But we're going to go ahead and get set up for the night. And... Yeah, let me give you a quick peek of what it looks like from the outside because it's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, wow. What do you think? Looks good. <laughs> Luke just told me to put a coat on and come outside because it's snowing. <gasps> it's snowing. Just since we got here. I don't even think you guys can see, but it's snowing. <gasps> it's already. Oh my gosh, it's already covering the cars. Yeah, I'm really glad we're in the barn. That's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh. What? Luke has been outside for the past 30 minutes looking for what's going on with the water heater because he's amazing. What did you find? Well, not 100%, but it doesn't help. But this is the pilot flame and the gas comes out here and the igniter hangs out. But this is supposed to deflect the gas to make the bright flame pattern. Yeah. But this thing is like just barely. Oh, that's that it's looks like, like you could just break it off yeah. if you wanted. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's probably maybe part of the problem. Yeah, because you, after you bought that new, what what did you buy today? The thermostat and the ECO. Yeah. Since I put that on, it'll light up for about nine seconds and turn off. And so that like indicates like it's not detecting a flame. The only way it detects a flame is by the resistance developed in the igniter. So the igniter is not getting hot enough to detect that it's got a proper flame. Mm. 
So I was going to check this to make sure that it was calibrated right, but when I pulled it out, it was sitting like this. Like oh, really yeah. Wow. But it should be square, but it's not going to stay that way. It's just barely on as it is. Right. Yeah, that looks really old. What do you think? You think you have to buy a new part? Yeah. Yee. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm thinking right now. So. Well, thanks for going out and embracing the cold for us. Yeah. At least we're in a barn, so I'm not out in the snow. down and Google was like hey guys turn right in 800 feet and if we would have listened to Google we would have just gone straight over the edge <laughs> there's no street there at all it's pretty through here though yeah and it's paved roads and they've graveled it so oh, like, I'm oh not god too worried. we're just <laughs> we're so big it runs such a small road it's scary Scenic. Taking a very scenic route. I swear that the roads are getting smaller as we go down and we're barely fitting. <laughs> so Luke was all like, I hope this pays off. And I was like, no, it just added an extra 30 minutes to our our route. But then we found a sign that said picnic area. And hopefully we can oh my god. <laughs> How do we get down here? Flight left. No, we see Google, we're trying. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're so big. This is cool though. You're right, babe, it paid off. This is all the signs. Then you're here, and well, if we fit. We decided to have breakfast outside today. It's very cold, but we have some hot, well, warmish now oatmeal. <laughs> and it's just so pretty out. Got little corduroy parked over here. We saw some some jeepers on their way to take a hike. They stopped by and said, hey. But yeah, beautiful outside today. Well, this is like, this is an old railroad bridge that we're underneath. Right? Yeah, we're having breakfast under an old railroad bridge. <laughs> How dope is that? Pretty cool. Well, it was a little intense getting here, so hopefully getting out of here is not going to be quite so bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope not. It, was, yeah. it, it scared me a few times. Yeah, it was a little intense. <laughs> a couple of hairpin turns, mm -hmm. downhill, covered in snow. But RV did great. Corduroy is awesome. And we're going to figure out how to get out of here. We're kind of no turn it back now, you know. The best way out of here, here is to keep going. So. <laughs> There's a stream down over here, so we'll go check it out here in a minute. We've got to get Luke some gloves because we found my gloves, but we only found one of his gloves, yeah. so it doesn't really work when you don't have a pair. He's got his hands in his pocket. Yeah, it's okay for now, but definitely need to get me a pair soon. Coming up on the water down here. It's really pretty.
looking really pretty red right here. It's gorgeous. Nice and chilly out here. This kind of reminds me of that show alone a little bit where they put the people out in the middle of nowhere and they have to hunt for, you know, whatever they can and get some fish by the stream. And I'm sitting here thinking, man, props to you guys because there's no freaking way. It's probably, what would you say the temperature is out here, babe? Oh, it's gotta be both, definitely below freezing. Yeah, it's below freezing, but man, those people out there in the Arctic, kudos to y'all. Seriously, right? It's, it's chilly. The sun feels nice. But yeah, the sun feels a really good. Too, that got some bites. That's the bridge we're gonna drive over in a minute. Yeah, that's the old bridge. It's not the bridge we're gonna drive. All right, corduroy, time to get back on the road. No signal, so no GPS, but I think we just keep going the way we were. We'll eventually find civilization again, so. <laughs> go. Give us some power, baby. See what this old corduroy can do. This is very steep. There's lots of jeeps that came down here, but we're a little bit bigger than they are. No problem. <laughs> Corduroy was actually a jeep in his past life. <laughs> We're really testing this thing out today, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, the roads get way thinner up here. <laughs> That's a lot. I do hope so. <laughs> uh oh gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's just go forward again. <laughs> We don't really have any choice. <laughs> We're kind of up here. I think we're good to go first. I know you guys can't really see what's going on up here, but the roads are very thin. It's icy, snowy, and there's not a lot of room to for a big boy like us to turn around. So. Ooh. Good job, babe. <laughs> yeah. I'm sweating, but it's like so hot. Yeah. Same. Oh my gosh. Well, we wanted adventure, right? Here, yeah. here it is. <laughs> here it is. Seriously, though, we gotta figure out how to get out of here. Okay, there's another thing down. I think this is the way.
what my face looked like on the camera because I just <laughs> held the camera on my face. <laughs> and I think it was a look of pure, <laughs> pure fear. <laughs> Not that I don't trust your driving, I trust your driving, but I just don't know these hills. Yeah, Especially just... with snow and ice and we're not in a baby car, little Volkswagen, we're in a like 31 foot beast. <laughs> that's only big enough for a Volkswagen while it's snowing or just snowed. It's, it's taking us up to this road and then it's telling us to turn around and go through all this again. Uh, Why well, didn't I just listen to you when you wanted we, to turn around? I mean, we've made it up here, so we know we can make it back down, you know? What? There's gotta be another way. There's not another way. Yeah, but we could go over yeah, around yeah, here. Let's, we'll check the map here. So okay. Because I'm not turning around. Yeah, that's insane. Can I? Uh. So yeah, yeah, we have to turn around. We're up in the mountains now, so <clears throat> there's no way really out of here other than the way we came. Wish I'd have known that before I turned right just now, but it's okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go back about another 30 minutes <laughs> and get to yeah. the path where we need to go, but hey, RV life, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's our new saying, just RV life. Yeah. Just is what it is. We'll have fun with it. I'm just gonna find a place to turn around. Can you imagine living up here in the middle of nowhere where this guy lives? Guy, gal. Get a cool little cabin. Yeah, a little motor come over there. Yeah, turn I love the look of like the old cabins that almost look like they've been charred. Like the wood's so dark. And maybe they have. It's really pretty though. Is there anything from the mirror? Uh, I really, I, nothing from what I can see in the mirror. See, they pulled a the trailer all the way up here. They did. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they did it when it wasn't snowing. Pretty up here though. Way in the sky around Yeah, I'll let Cause we're gonna be a little slow. You good? I just gonna let you go. <laughs> <laughs>
pretty. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> Look, this beautiful nice view. view right here. Yes. Quite gorgeous. All right, let's do a time lapse of uh, us going down. Anyway, the roads pretty much keep zigzagging like that for another 25, 30 minutes. And we'll let you know when we get out of here, but we're pretty much past the worst of it. Great job, baby. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun now that we're out alive, huh? <laughs> yeah, it never got like really sketchy, but like. <laughs> Except for that one turn. Well, I know that was a little weird, but like I felt okay, you know? Like I was like, we're fine get through that you know but like there wasn't any point where I didn't feel like I was in control you know I'm like, just glad you're a good driver <laughs> but, yeah we'll be a little more careful about just picking a random little recreational area <laughs> <laughs> I was like okay I'll we'll just follow the brown signs and, yeah that was fun it was fun it's pretty looks like we just made it to Sunbright Tennessee I saw a sign a little ways back, it said it's 24 degrees, so I know earlier we were trying to figure out how cold it was, and it's 24 degrees. It's chilly. It's a tip bit chilly. It's a little bit nipply out. And to Kentucky. So we're in Berea, we're about two minutes from the campgrounds. We're at Marathon Station and gas is 315 here. I don't know how much diesel is because it doesn't say. But we're gonna load up on that and some propane. Yeah. And then we'll, then we'll head to the campground. Yeah. So we had to stop at we had to stop at another campground to get propane. And somehow this door came open and the cats just started running in here. Well, Luke was still driving. He was in the parking lot, thankfully, but Spy ran under his seat and knocked Klein is out, and that's just the whole thing. Take the next left, then turn right. We made it to Berea, Kentucky. Uh, the camp hosts were really nice and got us guided in real good. Everything snowed over so we couldn't really see the road or the, the parking spots, but they guided us in good. So it is nice and frosty. Um, we probably should have a used hose for this. I think my dad said he might have an extra one, but either way, we probably aren't going to risk having constant water just because it's it's really cold and I don't want to risk freezing the lines. But, yeah, we'll just take it yeah. day by day, but I'd be lying if I said we weren't pretty exhausted driving yeah. every single day like that. That's something we learned. Yeah, I think three days of driving, then that's going to call for at least 24 hours of rest and just letting our brains relax because it is pretty, I mean, this thing's easy to drive, but it's still, it's exhausting, so.
Yeah, driving like five, six hours every day and then sleeping and then getting up and driving again. I wasn't even driving, I was just sitting, but <laughs> your legs kind of start to cramp after a while and you just, you need that time to get out and get yeah. some fresh air, so. It'll be good. We're going to stay over here for more than a week, so yeah. I think nine days total. And if we get snowed in too much, it might be longer. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> We've been spending probably on average about $100 a day on gas. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. definitely better, like we said, just kind of roll it into our first thing we just said, just to stop for a while and stay a few places and then drive because the gas, this yeah. thing guzzles gas, <laughs> of course. Yeah, gas is expensive, but yeah. we'll also see how we do on propane because we ran the furnace last night, had it set at like 65 and we went through six pounds of propane or six gallons of propane mm -hmm. just last night. Right. And I think we have a 20 gallon tank. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that works out. And like Luke was saying, we eventually want to get another one because we have a little add on where we can get more, yeah. but just no one's had any propane. But yeah. So I need to get everything settled in here before it gets dark. It is cold and snowy. Yep. But. Nice and snowy. Let's see over here too. Hi, Clay. You like that? Anyways. Well, we appreciate you guys watching our first road trip, our boondocking yeah. adventure. It was really fun. We learned a lot. We still have a ton more to learn. Yep, yeah, lots to learn, but so far so good. No major disasters. So yeah. it's been great. All right, well, um, if you guys would mind, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and we will see you on our next adventure. Yay. Bye. Bye.